Hello folks, it's Appfielder here and I'm back with another Minecraft tutorial video and today we're going to be taking a look at the mod Inventory Profiles next. I have actually featured this mod before in one of my top 10 mods videos and today we're going to do a little bit of a tutorial on how to use the mod because it is extremely useful and has some really cool features. Before we go any further into the video, if you need to know how to install Fabric and Fabric mods, then I'm going to put a link to that video in the description below. Once you've installed Fabric, all you need to do is drop the mod into your mod folder, restart the game, and then you'll have the mod installed. Now the first thing I want to do before we start looking at what this mod can do is show you how to access the menu. So there are two ways to do this. The first is the easiest way and it's to hit the R and the C button together and you get the inventory profiles next menu and then we've got all our settings that we're going to look at throughout this video. So I'm just going to hit escape to come out of there. Now the other way is if you use a mod called mod menu then you'll have this mods button and I'll put a link to the mod in the description below and from there you can get to the inventory profiles next by clicking on it and then clicking on the, the config uh, button up the top there. You can change the key combo if you want, it's set to RC, you just click on it, set the combo that you want and away you go. So I'm just going to escape back out of that. That's how you get into the config menu. Next up we're going to take a look at the sorting your inventory and sorting your chests as well and your shulkers. If you've ever played on a server anywhere with me, and this is Abcraft by the way, you can join this completely free, just come join my discord. You'll know I tend to leave shulker monsters and chest monsters wherever I build and it takes a while for me to go and sort those out. So this is the first reason I actually got this mod because it was incredibly useful for sorting my inventory, something I'm very lazy about. So if I hit the E key to open my inventory right now, you'll see it's a complete and utter mess. I've got jungle planks, I've got iron ingots, I've got emeralds, they're not stacked. My inventory is basically full. I can't pick anything up at this point. Now, if I just want to very quickly sort this, there are two ways that I can do this. I can hit this little Z button here, I think it's a Z, or I can, what I normally do, hit the R key, the R. And there we go, look at that. Sorts them into an order that we'll talk about shortly. And it also stacks the items as well, freeing up space in my inventory so I can go and pick up more rubbish from my building projects. And if we do the same in this chest, let's just split that up. So the R key or the, the Z button, we hit that and then boom, we're good. We have two more options for sorting that we haven't talked about here. Sort into columns, sort into rows. Now these can be a little bit buggy, it does depend on how many items you've got in the chest on as to how well that it all works. So let's just split these up. Now if I want to put this into columns, that's fine. We haven't got too many items in the in the shulker. It can cope with that. We've got nice columns. And if we want to do it into rows, it works again with rows. It does start to get a little bit strange when you've got lots of items in a chest like this. So if I do columns, it actually kind of looks more like rows to me. And if I do rows, kind of looks more like columns. So you can get a little bit of an odd result there, but if you play about with those buttons, you'll hopefully get the result that you are after. So that is sorting items. So the only other thing we need to talk about on sorting items is changing the order in which they get sorted. So R plus C to open your config menu. And we've got a couple of items here. We've got the sort order and we've got the custom rule as well. So you can actually sort using different items now I use the item name, but you could use the numerical ID. You could use a custom rule if you created one. Not going to go into that in this video. You could use the default, so it's the same as in the creative kind of menu. So if I had the R key, see how it completely changes that order. So that's just worth noting if you like your items in a different order. Like I say, I tend to like to use item name. So that is basically everything on sorting the items. The next thing we can do with inventory profiles next is speed up crafting. You can see I've been playing about with this feature over there. So what we need to do is have a tick in this button. Now I'm just going to show you what happens without it ticks and without us doing anything. You click on it and then that's it. Now imagine you were doing stacks or what have you at a time. If we click this button and we put the one in there and hold down the alt key. You'll see it automatically brings the items in so we can just keep on clicking on that and it'll keep going until we've built up. Remember to come off the Alt key. Now, check what happens when we press Shift and Alt together. So Shift, Alt, make sure that's ticked. Left click on that. And what that's gonna do is actually go through all the items in your inventory. And if it can keep on crafting, it's gonna keep going until it's full up. And that's why I have all those items over there. So Shift, Alt with that ticked. 
create your item and it'll keep going until your inventory is full. So it's a nice way of speeding up item crafting. And that's just reminding me actually, one thing you wanna be careful of on a server is check that that's okay, that feature, because if I hit R and C, one of the things you can do in here, because if you're playing on Spigger or Paper servers, for example, they might have an anti-cheat mod on that does not like those rapid clicks, which is essentially what it's doing in the background. You might get kicked. So check with your server admin. But the thing you could do is hit R and C, scroll down and add an interval between the clicks and change that interval, slow it down so it doesn't look like a bot. It's just worth keeping in mind. The last feature we're gonna look at is the profiles itself. Now it's really powerful, but it's a little bit tricky, particularly the first time you've done this to get it set up. So what these profiles are is a very quick way of sorting particularly your hot bar and um, I'm going to just set my hot bar up how I normally have it now I always have my sword in number one so that if I'm going anywhere in the world and I start getting attacked I can just hit the one key and I've got my sword to hand then what I normally do is have my pickaxe in number two and we have some carrots and my ender chest have my bow have my rockets have some torches and then probably something like that so I mean, the two main ones for me are my sword and my pickaxe. I always know they're number one and number two. Now, obviously, they get messed up when I'm doing mining and things like that. So it'd be very nice if there was a very quick way to, you know, select your profile. So if we do R plus C, and I'm just going to very quickly show you the hotkey here because we want to save the current state as a save profile. I can't remember what this is by default. Nothing. So if we click on that, set our key, and there we go, we're done. We can hit the reset key if we want to change that. We're going to go into edit profiles now. You'll see I've got none in there. What I'm going to do now is hit that hotkey that I just set, the N key, and down the bottom left here, create a new saved profile. Now we're not quite done. You'd think that you just type in usual here and you're done, but that's not quite it. What you need to do is click this button here. Now profiles are per server. You can do some copying and pasting if you want to sort it out like that. Cool, we've got our profile here. And it's currently profile saved, activate hot one. Now it should move netherite swords, golden carrots, bow, all that kind of stuff. What we need to do is here, now imagine you could have more profiles. It's just give that a name. It doesn't matter what, I'm gonna call it usual. And then I'm gonna do control plus S to save it. Or you cl could click on file and click on save. Now, if we go back into here, hit the R and the Y key together. That refreshes the kind of the config here. What I'm gonna do, is just move this stuff out and then boom, move all this stuff out. I've only got one profile, move my sword here, boom. So we've just got a nice quick way of just selecting our profile. Now I believe, I don't particularly use it, um, but I believe you can also select keys to very quickly set your, your correct profile. So apparently I have got one set here. So if I mess this up a bit, let's test this out. G plus H. Boom, put everything back. So that is how you create your profiles. Now, the one thing it does that I don't particularly like, and I'm gonna show you how to change this, is how I do G plus H to select that profile. You see how it automatically goes to the sword? Now, you might like that, you might not. Don't know, but I don't. So I'm gonna hit R plus C, and I'm gonna to go to my edit profiles, and I'm gonna to go to profiles config. We can turn this off. So we can just do, remove this, just do save, go back, do R plus Y. Sorry, I've made a slight mistake there. You can see it's telling me there's an error. Reason is because I didn't delete the activate. So if I do that, so profile usual, get rid of the activate and the hot one, do R plus Y. And there we go, no error this time. Now, let's mess this up, but let's have our shovel selected and let's do my G plus H, which selects my first profile. Boom, my shovel is still selected. It has an activated hotkey one. That is how you create your profiles. And as I said, they're per server, so you can have multiple profiles. Sometimes I have a sleep profile. If I've got a bed there. Absolutely perfect, very, very powerful. And lots more you can do. Suggest you have a read of the wiki of the extra settings that you can do. Anyway, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel. The creator of this mod, Mirror Nimi, I think I've said that right. He's got his own Discord. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. If you need have any questions about what you can do with this mod, then I recommend you go to his Discord. But be very polite. Don't ping him. People go into Discords and ping. It gets very annoying. Don't do that. Ask a question. Be polite. And he'll give you a good answer. Anyway, folks, that's all I have time for for now. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.